Hear ye, hear ye, to all ye white people, I spy a racist. A racist? Yeah, a racist. She's big, she's fat, and poor as a she. I spy a racist. I can't hear you. I spy a racist. Oh. It's like, no, let's just get to the video. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? This is Seji Hito here to bring you the news. So, um, YouTube has remonetized the platform after I um, reapplied, but still, I want to let you guys know if you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um the shoe store that is located in the comment section below Cheerio and all that good stuff. Yes, yes. Good one, good one. Good thrashing, good thrashing. Anyways, this is uh, a beautiful episode of When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong. As you can clearly see, this is the main things that we talk about here on this platform, either on IG <laughs> or on YouTube. And uh, I pretty much bring you guys videos of white people doing dumbass shit such as this and obviously this karen did not understand that she met the right one on the right day obviously this black woman was a lot different from the other black women and or people she wanted to flail around and throw the n-word at them, correct this woman she was like you know what you want to test me fine say it one more time she gave her a warning she threw the bag of chips or whatever item that she had Obviously, Karen did not learn her lesson. She decided to keep running her mouth instead of buying or conducting whatever business that she was going to conduct and then escort her ass directly out. No, 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 no. That white privilege and that ego started kicking in. So Karen started fast tracking deeper into this ass whooping. So then Karen decided to start moving her hands. When you start moving your hands at a black woman, let me let you know something. That means that you are ready to start a fight the the moment in time that any of your left and your right hands start moving forward towards that black woman that's letting her know oh you about that life so <laughs> you saw the black woman step up because she was being encouraged to come into that space this is when karen understood that she messed up so what did she decide to do she was like you know what let me just gain a little bit of distance back this is getting a little bit too dangerous. I've seen this before. I watch World Star. It's not going to be me. <laughs> so Karen decided to step a little bit back. And then the beautiful black woman decided she was like, you know what? You stepping back. OK, I'll give you space, but I'm going to do this. We're going to test this out. Say, say it one more time. Say, nigga, one more time. Call me that. Call me that one more time. Karen took a breath. She thought about it, took a second. Matter of fact, <laughs> she took more <laughs> and decided to say it. And this is when bing, bang, poop, pow, straight to the moon. That's exactly what happened to Karen. And notice Bob in the corner did not run to Karen's defense. He was like, you know what? I don't even know her. Um, I am for black lives today because <laughs> I am for my life. See how he understood that, that if you care enough about black lives, that your life will be safe at the end of the day. And therefore, because Bob did not interfere <laughs> in this bout, <laughs> his life was saved at the end of the day. But like I said before, white people, if at any point in time you are actually against racism, call it out or better yet, let things play out how it should play out 
Because when you have people like this, they have to learn and they have to understand that when you say certain things, there are consequences to the things that you say. This is not the the 1900s. This is not the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You are in the 2000s. I, I just need you guys to speed up with the times here because if you're stuck back in the 60s, you're going to get knocked back about a good 30 more years. And just in case for people in the back that don't understand or get what took place in this video, this is called nature taking its course. And the black woman that you just saw is the wrath of mother nature. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.